Between 2006 and 2011, the bursting of the housing bubble crushed Florida's economy, with home prices sinking 47% statewide. The decline catapulted Florida into having a surge of business closures. Florida's economy is, however, on the rebound. The state has the highest average rate of net migration over the past five years. In the next five years, Moody's projects Florida's job and income growth will top the nation. So this is the top 10 richest people in Florida. But first, please press that like button, it helps us with the YouTube algorithm. Number 10, Terence Pegula. Net worth, $5.1 billion. Terry Pegula was born in 1951. He made a fortune in fracking and has since turned it into a sports empire that includes the Buffalo Bills and Buffalo Sabres. His oil and gas outfit, East Resources, sold the bulk of its assets to Royal Dutch Shell for $4.7 billion in 2010. He bought the Sabres the next year for $189 million and in 2014 outbid groups led by Donald Trump and Bon Jovi to pick up the bills for $1.4 billion. A former math major, Pegula switched to petroleum engineering on a scholarship and joined Getty Oil after graduation. He founded East Resources in 1983 with a $7,500 loan from friends and family to drill sand wells and still has oil and gas interests in three states. Number 9. Isaac Perlmutter. Net worth, $5.3 billion. Isaac Perlmutter beat out fellow billionaire Carl Icahn for control of bankrupt comic book firm Marvel in 1998. He serves as the chairman. He revived the company's stock by producing action hero movies like Spider-Man, Daredevil, Hulk and Iron Man. In 2009, he sold a majority of Marvel to Disney for $4 billion in cash and stock. Perlmutter immigrated to the U.S. from Israel with just $250 in 1960 and sold toys on the streets of Brooklyn, where he was introduced to Marvel. He and his wife have donated over $50 million to cancer research at NYU Langone Medical Center. Number 8. Jude Reyes. Net worth, $5.4 billion. Together Jude Reyes and his brother Chris run Reyes Holdings, a $30 billion in sales food and beverage distribution company. The company got its start when the two brothers and their father bought a small Schlitz beer distributor in South Carolina for $740,000 in 1976. Reyes is already the largest beer distributor in the U.S. and also owns two Coca-Cola bottlers and distributors. In May 2017, Reyes Holdings announced that its soda distribution business would be expanding into California and Nevada. Number 7. J. Christopher Reyes. Net worth, $5.4 billion. Chris Reyes and his brother Jude co-chair Reyes Holdings. Reyes Holdings ranked in 2020 as the eighth largest company in the United States, with annual revenue of $30 billion. It operates in North, Central, and South America, as well as Europe, the Middle East, and Asia Pacific. Its divisions include McDonald's distributor Martin Brower, Great Lakes Coca-Cola, Reyes Coca-Cola, and beer distributor Reyes Beverage Group. Number 6. Paul Tudor Jones II. Net worth, $5.8 billion. Hedge fund manager Paul Tudor Jones II is known for his macro trades, particularly his bets on interest rates and currencies. In 1980, he founded Tudor Investment Corporation, which now manages a reported $9 billion in assets. Jones got his start at his dad's small business paper, the Memphis Daily News, where he wrote under the name Paul Eagle in high school and college. He cut his teeth trading cotton futures at the New York Cotton Exchange, under the tutelage of renowned cotton trader Eli Tullis. In 1988, he co-founded the Robin Hood Foundation, with the goal of reducing poverty in New York City. Number 5. Mickey Arison. Net worth, $6.4 billion. Mickey Arison is chairman of the world's largest cruise ship operator, Carnival Corp. He spent 34 years as CEO of Carnival, helping grow its fleet from two ships to more than 100, before stepping down in June 2013. Born in Tel Aviv, he immigrated to the U.S. as a young child with his father, Ted Arison, died in 1999, who co-founded Carnival in 1972 with a single ship. When Carnival was founded, Arison dropped out of the University of Miami to become a sales rep for the cruise line. In 1995, he took control of the Miami Heat, the NBA franchise his father helped bring to Florida. Since then the team has won three NBA championships. Number 4. Reinhold Schmieding. Net worth, $6.7 billion. Michigan native Reinhold Schmieding started Arthrex, an orthopedic surgical tools company, in 1981 in Munich, Germany. 
Arthrex is now headquartered in Naples, Florida, and has developed over 13,000 products used in shoulder, hip and other orthopedic surgeries. Privately held Arthrex has estimated revenues of $2.1 billion, Schmieding owns more than 90% of the company. He is the son of German immigrants and his father is a dentist. Number 3, Shahid Khan. Net worth, $7.9 billion. An engineer by trade, Shahid Khan bought auto parts supplier Flex and Gate from his former employer in 1980. His design for a one-piece truck bumper was the basis for his success. The company now has 64 plants worldwide and over 24,000 employees. Khan also owns the NFL's Jacksonville Jaguars, which he bought in 2012, and UK's Fulham Football Club, which he bought in 2013. He and his son Tony launched All Elite Wrestling, a professional wrestling entertainment company, and a competitor to WWE in 2019. He is a major financial backer of Black News Channel, a 24-hour cable news channel, which launched in February 2020. Number 2, David Tepper. Net worth, $13 billion. David Tepper, arguably the greatest hedge fund manager of his generation, has been steadily returning money to client investors in recent years. Tepper's Appaloosa Management Hedge Fund firm now manages $13 billion, down from a peak of $20 billion. He decided to move from New Jersey to Florida in 2016 and relocated his hedge fund firm there as well. In 2018, Tepper bought the Carolina Panthers professional football team in a $2.3 billion deal. Once the head of the junk bond desk at Goldman Sachs, he left after being passed over for partner and founded Appaloosa Management in 1993. Number 1, Thomas Paterfi. $19.8 billion. A digital trading pioneer, Thomas Paterfi chairs Interactive Brokers, which markets its specialized trading platform to sophisticated investors. He founded Interactive Brokers in 1993 after originally starting in market making and was CEO until December 2019. In March 2017, he announced part of his market-making operation would phase out. It had been under attack by faster competitors. Paterfi arrived in America in 1965 at age 21, the penniless descendant of Hungarian aristocrats who lost nearly everything to the Soviets. Paterfi is a major landowner with more than 500,000 acres of timberland, primarily located in Florida, the state where he lives. We hope that this video was helpful to you, so please press the like button because it helps us with the YouTube algorithm, and if you are new here don't forget to subscribe and watch one of these videos on the screen.